Good morning. Morning, everyone. Well, this is a special place for me if you want to. Um, we're here in Derbyshire at a town, a little village called Brailsford. Uh, family in, so we thought we'd take a visit and see what we can find. Hey, let's have a wander around Brailsford. Yep. This guy's a Brailsford by surname. <laughs> so we just thought we'd have a wander around. We're starting here at the uh, Rose and Crown pub in Brailsford. So just on the outskirts of Brailsford. Unfortunately, we can't find any history of the place. No, which is a bit. Yeah, which is a bit. A bit poor, really, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I'm using my phone today in the gimbal. Um, I had a bit of a problem with my GoPro yesterday. <laughs> So once I get that sorted, we'll be back on to GoPro. But like I said, we're on uh, we're on the phones today. So we're gonna have a walk around the village and then let's see what we can see. So like I said, we're just leaving the Rose and Crown pub. <coughs> well, we'll probably be going in in a bit for some refreshments. Hopefully. Better? Yeah. So, there's a little bit of history uh, surrounding Brailsford. Uh, especially our Scottish friends, uh, when Bonnie Prince Charlie uh, marched his army from Scotland, he came through Brailsford on his way to Derby. So, yeah. Yeah, he uh, came from Ashbourne, got down to Ashbourne, and then from Ashbourne, headed into Derby. Came through here, there's a nice walk somewhere from Ashbourne to Derby called the Bonnie Prince Charlie Way, I think it is. I think it's yeah. about 17 miles, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. We're going to hopefully do yeah, all that, that in the that's... in the summer or when the spring, the weather comes back again. Yeah, when it's a bit warmer. It's a bit warmer and we've got more time. And more daylight to do it in. Um, lovely buildings. Yes. Here in uh, Brailsford. There is a manor house, and I think this is it. Uh, we'll have a look, see what it is, see what it says. Yeah. There's the Brailsford garage across the road there. Yes. Manor the house. Manor house. Yeah. I'm just going to play some history on that. Just going to have a look on his phone about a bit of history about this manor house. Uh, but the houses are here absolutely they're lovely. On the wee village, I don't think there's many, many streets or roads that come off this place, but yeah, Brailsford Manor the back of me. Obviously a private house so I'm not going to film too much. Yeah, Railsford Manor. You can't help Phil. Going about Railsford Hall. The manual history of Railsford is a long and distinguished one going back to the period of the Norman Conquest. Then the memorial estate was held by one Elfin, as the Doomsday renders his name, or Elfenwine, clearly a man of Saxon descent. And in 1086, he held not only Brailsford, but the Thurlston Osmartin by Ashbourne, Cullen and Buckton. Estates. Yeah, so quite and apparently there was even a Roman settlement in Brailsford at some stage. It's not a out of the way backward thing, you know, as those Brailsfords are. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we'll carry on and have a look round and see what we can find.
yeah, we'll have a wee trip round and let's see what we can see and see what we can find. Um, there's a church, I believe, um, and a Methodist yep. church. Um, <coughs> not really sure what else there is, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Just coming in on a whim. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like I said, there's some gorgeous, gorgeous houses. <coughs> Properties in this bit of the village that we've come to so far. Uh, I mean, some really quirky ones like this one here. I don't like to film people's houses, but I think that's absolutely beautiful. So let's see if we can find a wee bit further up. Yeah. Looks like some sort of community all across the road. Don't know what that is. Brailsford Education Institute. Institute. But um, basically looks like a village hall to me. Uh, there's kids lurking about in it, obviously, so I'm not gonna not gonna film too much. But I can do it from across here. Just that building there. Look. So that's as far and close as I'm gonna get to that one. While there's bands about, so we'll have a look round and see what we can see. Just a little bit further up, we've come to this. If you can see that. Railsford Iron Crafts. Yeah. An Arts and Crafts Centre. Looks nice and quirky. Um, just a little building here. Lovely. So we should just have a quick look. Looks like they've started stocking Christmas stuff. We'll have a look in here. Five. Right, I'm gonna stop filming, I'm not gonna film in shop, so two seconds. Well what a lovely woman that woman was in that shot. Yes. I could have actually filmed in there, she she, she wasn't bothered, but I didn't. Uh, but yeah, could have done. Yeah. We've got like rosemary fig, like a little grocer's farm and deli shop. Beautiful. I do love these wee shops. Finance. Church office. Forget that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, beauty salon. And then just a few more little quirky shops. So I do love these wee hamlets. Apparently there's um there's some massive houses. Yeah. What happened to your family, Brailsford? I don't know. But How come you're in Stocksbury? Don't know. But um, apparently there's a beautiful church there that the woman was telling us. Uh, saying that the church is like in the middle of a field sort of thing. These, yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? Like right, I said, there's some gorgeous properties here in Brailsford. In Brailsford, yeah. <laughs> we'll have a look further up the village and let's see what we find. Oh, we had to put his masks on though. Filled yeah. it and got one. Yeah. Yeah. So, see, all has come prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared. Yes, beautiful quirkies, look at those. Absolutely stunning. And apparently there's quite a few Brailsfords residing in that churchyard, so we'll have a look when we get yeah. there as well, but we'll, have, we'll keep having a find what's up this village. And uh, keep on a trot. See you in a bit. Oh, this is nice. Oh, look at that. All right, you're filming it. Oh, yep. I'm not filming. She looked at me going out, that woman, and said, so what are you doing? You get them. So, we've come to the Brailsford store. The post office. And Clark Interiors. Blueberry Tea Rooms. You know, just to prove we're in Brailsford. I know it'll be saying it backwards because I've got my camera on. Whatever it's called. It does, doesn't it? Blueberry tea rooms. Yeah. 
Mm, I am a bit hungry. <laughs> right. Hello. So, public footpath, Abbey Walk. Obviously, there must have been an abbey up there at some point then. Right, we'll have a walk up this village and then see what we do. Yeah. Brailsford uh, Methodist Church, built in 1845. Uh, yeah, typical Methodist. It's very basic. Uh, yeah, there is another church uh, which is signposted just there. Yeah, down this uh, Railsford Church. Side road. So that's your Methodist. I'm surprised it's not being converted into flats yeah. or apartments. Most of them have. Uh, these days. So let's go and have a look at the church and see if we can find some of his relatives. Oh. <laughs> Catch you in a bit. Yep. Catch you in a bit. Heading towards the church at Brailsford, you get Brailsford Medical Centre, which is the back of me, obviously, there. Um, quite a nice building to say it looks pretty new. Yeah, it's new. But at the back of it, You've got, how nice is that? It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Gorgeous. It's, uh, it's like snowing leaves. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. So it's, 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 like, it's like snowing leaves. It's lovely walk around this wee village. Morning. Morning. Here between Ashbourne and Derby. <coughs> like I said, we've had a bit of a road trip today. We've come out to Yorkshire. I know, us we had to passports. Oh. But, uh, oh. God, oh, look at this. How nice is that? It's just such a beautiful place. Oh, have you, have you heard him? It's got to be nice because it's called Brailsford. I don't know. What's he like? Uh, yeah, it's obviously a bit of a winding road, this one. Bit of a back lane. You've got the old rectory, so obviously we're not a million miles away from uh, from the church. We can't be if that's the old rectory coming up, which is looks a lovely, lovely place, to be honest. I don't know. Yeah, here we go. The old rectory. So, uh, it's a bit colder today. I bought some gloves and not brought them with me. So, I think the weather is really just starting to turn now. It's getting a bit colder getting a bit closer to December now so I don't think it's going to be long before it really starts to turn Aye, he's just talking to their summer on the phone so I'm just trying to waffle on until he catches me up <laughs> so now we've got Brailsford Rectory so that's the old one which is a lot nicer than the new one, I've got to say. That's the new one. There. And the old one is obviously an old house. Which they always were, weren't they? Bit the obvious, Jay. <laughs> so, church field house. So, obviously we're not a million miles away from the church. Probably just down at the bottom of this road. <laughs> Morning! <laughs> one thing one thing I have noticed and I find it a lot in Derbyshire I do quite know quite a few being obviously being part of Clan Derby yes you got to mention um, the people in Derbyshire and uh, 
90% polite, they really are nice people. They always say good morning to you. Uh, good afternoon, good morning, hello, what are you doing? Oh, that's fantastic, carry on, that's brilliant. I don't think these people around here are that used to seeing people with videos and cameras walking around these wee villages. But every single person we've met so far have been lovely. Been absolutely lovely. We've even had a couple of car beeps. A uh, few lads out just hung out of the car for the back. Hey, get us on camera. You know what I mean? So, it's been really, really good. So, uh, I'll let him gas on and let's get down here. I'm just going to show you this building as well, this house, if I can. How lovely. Absolutely beautiful is that. Railsford, mate, I don't know what happened to your side of the family, but yeah. <laughs> we've lost some it somewhere. Just kidding. <laughs> should, stay, should have stayed where they were. They, should, they shouldn't have gone wandering off. No. <laughs> oh dear. I've been to Hague. It's not yeah. much. It's not like this, I'll tell you. <laughs> It's definitely not like this. Um, I do, what I would love to do at some point, is I want to do the, uh, I want to go up to, do the bit of the Rob Roy way. Yeah. I'd like to do that as well. It's an old, it's like a, another national trail in Scotland <coughs> and going to the McGregor country, which is something obviously is very close to my heart. Uh, I'd love to do that at some point. So we are going to try and get fit and get sorted for the West Island way, which obviously yeah. we couldn't do this year. But hopefully get it done next year. So I've been rambling on long enough. <laughs> well, Phil's been on the phone. Yeah, sorry about that, peeps. Uh, you have to the phones, you have to answer. You do, unfortunately. Um, I don't know how far down this church is. No, I think it's away. But she did say... It was in the middle of a field yeah. and not a lot around it, so I'm hoping all of a sudden the church is going to appear. Yeah. Otherwise, we're going down this lane for an out. It's a nice walk. <laughs> it's a lovely walk, and that's what it's all about. Just having a stroll around and uh, getting around these streets and villages. Yep. Uh, the view from here is absolutely amazing. Over to, I don't know if that's over towards Derby area, but over there. It's gorgeous. Gonna be gorgeous. Gonna be gorgeous. Stunning. Right, let's go and find this church. Well, we found the church in the distance. But I'm not kidding, the village is way back there. You have to come down that lane and down here. And all the way to here, and church is about there. I'm not, it's way out at village. Way out at village. So I'm wondering, at one point the village has been moved. I don't know what I know what I said. There's another village behind that. You, yeah, I, I know there's, there's, another, there's another parish, another village further down. Now this is, this is the actual parish church. And obviously usually usually get the main place and then a few villages surround it you can sometimes come under the same church yeah. but I'm wondering over the centuries that there was a village round here Could have been. and the village has been moved possibly from a big landowner now I don't know if you can see in the distance over there I don't know if I can zoom in on this I can't but over there there's a big house and they did move a lot of villages away so it wouldn't obstruct their view. They weren't looking at the village. That's true. <clears throat> Can I, I don't know. I don't know absolutely nothing. It's just uh, something yeah. that they did do and all they did do in the past. They actually literally moved the entire villages away from their site, their view from the house. Obviously, I can't move the church, which is obviously there. You can see it. 
but it is a long way from the village that stands its yeah. name. This is Brailsford Parish Church. Brailsford is way over there. It's took us, what, 10 minutes to ten walk? Minutes, yeah. so you can walk quite far in 10 minutes, those that do a bit of walking nice knows. Walk, it's a lovely walk, don't get me wrong. It's, I'm thinking of winter months, for especially the elderly. Yeah. It's a long way to come. Um, not that I'm a church going guy, if you see them, because I'm certainly no, not. But, but um, it is a long way out. Now the church looks quite old. We'll show you when we get there. But maybe, maybe there was the original Brailsford village, not where it stands today. If anybody does know that, um, please drop us a comment. That would be much appreciated. All is willing to learn and find out places. We could be completely wrong and it could just be where it's always been. Yeah, it's, there's a lot of open space around it and it's very strange to have a church like this in the middle fields 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 church so it's very unusual to have a church so far out of the village i mean it's really far out it's a long long way out and this is a very old church. I can see it's a very old church. Look. Looks like there may be a wedding today, so we're gonna get around as quick as we can. This is it the old wedding. We're gonna get around as quick as we can, and then uh, obviously don't, not gonna film any of the wedding. That'll be later this afternoon. Here's a view of the church. Quite a nice looking church, to be honest. Very simple, yeah. very plain. No sparkling about it, it's a basically a parish church. It's setting an absolutely beautiful place. What are you looking at? Yeah, we're going to have a look at that tree in a minute. Uh, well, let's see if we can find some rails for us. Yes. Probably be looking yes. at. He's found one, he's found one. See what old school master. Oh, Brailsford. Brailsford. Um, I saw the Brailsford. But you're going to find, you're going to see Brailsford quite a lot, aren't you? You're going to get the older graves yeah. further to the road of the church. I've said in the previous video, you're going to get the, the older graves closer to the church. Um, oh, nice. Beautiful parish church. Like I said, no sparkling about it. It's just very simple. Very plain. And very Norman. Yes, I was thinking that. Or is it Norman? Could be Anglo Saxon. Mm -hmm. It's certainly mm -hmm. it's certainly mm -hmm. old. I'm gonna have a look. Hey? There's quite a few Rogers and Reeves. Dakin. That's a name that we know well. 1629. 1629. It's old, but not as old as you think. Brailsford Parish Church. See no Brailsford yet. Yeah. Which you would ex which you would expect to see. Lovely though. Very nice. Holland, that's a place near here as well. Holland. Holland. I've seen the sign for Holland. So that's another name. I've not seen any Commonwealth great well, yeah I have actually. I've seen a couple of Commonwealths further down. But see no Brailsfords. 
Very disappointed. Look at that one. Oh wow. Yes. <laughs> I've not seen one like that before. That is uh, quite an oldie oldie. Mary Park. How nice is that? The grave. Oh, uh, there's one here. I don't know what this one is. This is uh, quite an old one. No, can't see the name on that one. It's a nice one. Look. So the hunt for the Brailsfords continues. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see one soon. Marsh, Watts. Derbyshire, that's a good name isn't it? So where we are. Yeah, a lot of new ones. She did say, the woman in the shop, that there is Brailsford's in here. Not seen one yet. Could take a while, so uh, I'll come back to you when we find one. Yeah, I'll come back to you when we find one. Well, we've had a look round this churchyard and we can't find a single Brailsford, which we're very surprised at, to be honest. Yeah. Very shocked at that. Because there's a, there's a lot of greystones that are quite badly worn. Yeah, this, yeah, there is quite a lot that you can't actually see what was on them. Obviously, they're the really old ones. I mean, this church is, you can only have to look at it. And it's quite an old church, is that? I know it says 16 something. But it could have been one year earlier than that, yeah. to be fair. More than likely, possibly would have been. So, somewhere in this graveyard, the woman said there's quite a few Brailsfords. Now, we've been all the way around it and couldn't find a single one. So, I'm wondering, either they're inside the church, possibility. Well, if, they are, if they are the founders of this village called Brailsford, they could possibly be in there, or they've got their own little mausoleum somewhere yeah. that we've not seen. Uh, but we've been. Never mind, it's not. A, it's <laughs> not a, you know, we're not that morbid. Yeah. <laughs> just it would have been interesting just to find. Yeah, one. just to find one. Yeah. But unfortunately, we failed on that mission. Yep. We haven't found a single Brailsford. Unfortunately, so there must be somewhere, but yeah. uh, we're not going to walk around a graveyard all day. There's going to be a no. wedding on here soon. So we're going to head off back up the Tibber village and then let's see what else we can see. Absolutely. See if we see hotels. But what a lovely place. Yeah. With a beautiful quaint church here at Brailsford. Yeah. Brailsford Parish Church. Welcome. Named after this guy. <laughs> <laughs> He wishes. Yeah. So we've come to the very end of the village of Brailsford, as it is at the moment. They are building more houses here. At the very, very end of Brailsford, as they always seem to do. They always seem to build more estates. Now Phil's gone to take a photo of a sign across road that says Brailsford across there so welcome to Brailsford and uh, you can see the sign somewhere over there right there that says Brailsford just to prove it here not that we'd be anywhere else <laughs>
So uh, we're going to head back towards the Rose and Crown, I think it was called. Yeah. And then go and see if they're open for business. Get some dinner before we head back home. What a lovely, beautiful, crisp, late autumn, yeah. early summer, uh, early winter, really. Yeah. Wish it were early summer. Yes. Right, nice if this was spring, going into summer, that'd be absolutely stunning. Yeah. But uh, we know bad weather's to come. So, we're going to leave it here. Yeah. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Yeah. It was only a quick little um, pilgrimage for our fill, really, yeah. this today. So, so thank you for watching. Yeah. Hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Our little tribute to Brailsford. So. Thank you very much. Thanks very much for watching. Keep like and subscribe. Share the videos, please. Thank you very much. See you again.